Hello, everybody. I've known Josh for about 10 years, and uh, he's been uh, one of my closest friends, literally, since the day we met. We founded a firm together with my brother Jeff and Olivier Tag, uh, one of our closest friends. Uh, five years ago, we even bought a house together, and we shared that house up until recently. I remember the night that Josh first did with Barry. Uh, when he came home, I was sitting on the couch, catching up on Mad Men. <laughs> <laughs> stood right about there, and I said, hey bro, how was your day? <laughs> Josh's response, quote, she might be the one. And quote. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't long uh, until I met Carrie. She's pretty much perfect. She's very smart, seeking to learn, and at the same time, so curious. She's absolutely gorgeous, yet down to earth. She's also incredibly nice, but at the same time, ambitious about work and life, and she's absolutely crazy about Josh. So, having seen Harry and spoken with her, and knowing Josh, I was confused. <laughs> what is she doing with Josh? Has she actually had a conversation with Josh? Her and irresponsible and unruly lot. After I became used to the idea, I became aware of something extraordinary. Carrie makes Josh happy. And I'm talking about the kind of happiness that you can only experience speaking symbolically while holding someone's hand with whom you want to spend the rest of your life. Now, I've known Josh for a long time. Josh has always been a loyal friend, and he's somebody that I admire a great deal. But he has never been assured of himself on an emotional level as he's been since that night he walked through our front door after his first date with Carrie. Aww. So, for those of you who don't know, yet know Carrie, I'm going to try now to summarize succinctly what I think it is about Carrie that caused such a profound change in my friend. <laughs> Early on in their relationship, Josh asked me, what do you think of her? I said two things. First, she's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> All better parents are still married, aren't they? Carrie, you see, walks this earth like an adult whose parents are still in love. Josh confirmed that yes, indeed, Mr. and Mrs. Lovejoy are still very married, still very much in love. <laughs> he then proceeded to tell me a story that Carrie told him on one of their first days together. I'll share that story with you now. When Carrie was a little girl, she had a horse that she loved very much. Her horse came sick. On the night her horse died, she slept in the stable with her horse, but not alone. Her whole family kept her company. Her mom, her dad, her little brother Rob, lay alongside Carrie as Carrie comforted that horse. Now, obviously, details of that story are news to me, but the, the general theme of love was not a surprise. Carrie could only be the adult version of a child who grew up love like that. And it could only be the promise of an enduring, intimate companionship with a person like Carrie that could lift this particular groom, the emotional place. <laughs> Here, I was here. 
The edge of our couch was here, facing the TV, and the kitchen was here. At that time in that place, I shook Josh's hand for the first time. Now, it's been said that Josh is just read. I disagree with that. In my opinion, in the best way, Josh is very easy to read. And as I shook his hand, I was pretty sure of two things. One, we'd be friends for the rest of our lives. And two, I was shaking the hand of a significant man. And when I use the word significant, I'm, not, I'm using it in the narrowest sense. Very few men are significant in the way that Josh is significant. So, what do I mean by significant? To answer that question, I'll soon go through this brief description of context. For, but I'm at the end of my life, I believe that I'll assess the significance of it primarily by reference to three factors. The quality of my work, the number of quality of my long-term relationships, and how much I gave back to society but what I took. In that second area, I'm doing okay. I'm blessed. I'm at the receiving end of a lot of wonderful lifelong relationships. In the third area, I've made so much progress giving back to society, primarily because I'm a selfish person. <laughs> It's that first thing that's the toughest to bring me down. My father nails it. He's never lied to me. That's a literal and precise statement. Ten years ago, as I stood between that couch and that kitchen and I took Josh's hand, I knew I was clasping the hand of a man whose word is good. Josh, for anybody who's reading, is easy to read. It's for this reason that I admire Josh as a man as significant as any I've met in the history of my life. For those of you who don't yet know Josh, this is the man that Carrie married today. If you ask this man on this day, who's your best man, he'll point at me. And that fact is one of the great honors of my life. Now, since getting to know Carrie and Josh as a couple, and becoming aware of the certainty of their shared life together, I've been filled with two emotions above others. And at this time, I think, it's likely that we all share them. The first of these emotions is gratitude. Thank you, Carrie, for finding Josh and for letting him find you. The second of these emotions is excitement. I'm excited to meet your children because I think that by the time they grow away, <laughs> others will shake their hands. And each instance of all the witness will do so, a handshake across to a significant person. I know that I'll meet your kids years before then, but at the same time, I can't wait to be one of those people. On behalf of everyone in this room, thank you for letting us be a part of the event today, the first day of the rest of your lives together. We love you very much. And one more thing. Mazel tov. <laughs> Fantastic Tom Cooper speech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's not a litigation. <laughs> 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 the jury all